Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is our 21st video as part of our series of videos on power of reporting of Tally Prime. And this is the second video related to focused analysis of inventory data. In today's session, we will see yet another very important report that every businesses have to be on top of it which is the age-wise analysis of inventory. This report is going to be a great eye-opener for business organizations to see how long have they been holding their inventory and blocking their working capital. Let us go to Tally and explore this a very, very critical report of age-wise analysis in Tally Prime. For you to access the report of aging analysis, the easiest way is through go to. Let us click on go to and just type aging. You will see two options. One it says stock aging analysis and the other one as inventory aging analysis. Both the options will take you to the same report. Some of you might type stock aging. Some of you might type inventory aging. That's why you have this two option which is the same report. So by clicking this, you will go to the aging analysis. Now let us see the menu path, how to access this report. From the gateway of Tally, we click on display more report, click on display more report. And then you have under inventory, you have statements of inventory, click on statements of inventory. And under statements of inventory is where you have this aging analysis. So instead of navigating through this menu path, the easiest way is that we click here and then type aging and let us select stock aging analysis. Now from the list of stock group, you can select any group or we can select primary. When we select primary, Tally will list out all your stock items forming part of your various groups. Let us select primary here. You will notice that Tally by default sets some periodicity. We can see here the stock holding pattern of your organization based on the periodicity which Tally defines. The periodicity is less than 90 days. What is the value of stock that you are holding? So 13 lakh 17,000 worth of goods you are holding. Now this is the list of all stock items of all the group and between 90 to 120 days this is the value and greater than 120 days the company has a huge amount of 57 lakh 23,200 rupees worth of goods which they are holding for more than 120 days from the date of purchase. We can also see negative quantity in a separate column without any aging analysis. Now if you want to remove this negative column, take the cursor to the negative column and on the right hand side button bar, we have this button called delete column. The keyboard shortcut is Alt D. Just make sure that whichever column you want to delete, the cursor is on the column that you want to delete and just click on delete column. The negative column will get removed. You can now configure your own aging period. To change the aging period, Again, notice here on the right hand side, we have this button called aging period. The keyboard shortcut is F6. Click on aging period. And this is where you can alter your aging period. Now let us alter this to get more clarity. So the aging period that we will set here is, we will say 0 to 30, which is less than 30 days, 30 to 60, 60 to 90 days, 90 to 120 days, 120 to 180 days and 180 days and above. So for you to break this selection, 180 days to if it is zero, automatically tally will consider 180 days and above. Just press enter and accept. Now we can observe that this aging period provides even more insights to the pattern of inventory holding of the organization. Again, if we can observe here, you are viewing 120 to 180 days and 
tally says that there are two more columns to the right so we take the cursor to the right and we will see this greater than 180 days and the negative column so the negative column we remove this by clicking on delete column still we have this one column which is to the right of it let us go to the last column which is very critical now this column says that the company is holding value of stocks 50 lakh 12200 rupees worth for more than 180 days which means from the date of purchase the total value of inventory that the company is holding for more than 6 months is 50 lakh 12000 200, which is an indication of bad inventory management policy. This report will provide answers to lots of questions, primarily why and what made them to hold so much of stock for such a long time. This report will also provide insights into fast moving, slow moving and non moving products also, which will allow the business owners to decide on their product holding pattern. To analyze this, let's view for a particular group of product. Now to view for a particular group of product, you need not have to escape to select your group of product that you want to analyze. All you have to do is again on the right hand side button bar, we have this button called stock group. The keyboard shortcut is F4. Just click on stock group. Tally will give you the list of all the group which we saw earlier and here let us select washing machine. So I'm going to click on washing machine and now we are viewing the aging analysis of the items under the group that we have created washing machine. Let's again go to the last column which is the number of days that we are holding beyond six months. Let's come back. Now for us to analyze your fast moving or slow moving or non moving item. Let us see here the first item which is LG washing machine. The quantity that the company is holding is less which is beyond 180 days. Now if you take the Samsung washing machine you will notice that the company is holding this item for a longer period of time. In fact they are holding 39 numbers which is valued at 7,96,000 for over 6 months. So which is an indication that it is a slow moving or non moving item for this company. Now just to clarify as a disclaimer, I have used these products name just as an example and with no intention of promoting or demoting any product. Tally's valuation method adopted is average costing method which is default. Now if you want to view temporarily with any other valuation method just click on the valuation on the right side button bar. The keyboard shortcut is F8. Click on valuation. Tally is now going to give you list of various valuation method that you can apply to view temporarily the impact of the value that you are holding. Before we select any valuation method, let me just come back and let's first view the value of the item that the company is holding for greater than 180 days. You will see here the value at the cost price which is the average costing is 8,56,000. Now let us apply a different valuation method. So I click on valuation and let us select average price. You will notice that the value now is 12,64,394.14. In simple terms, the company is blocking their profit of 4,8,000. 394.14 which is a notional profit. How did we arrive at that? Very simple. We are now taking the value of the stock item that we are holding based on average price which is 1264.394 minus the value of stock as per the costing method adopted which is the average cost which was 8,56,000. The difference between your average sale price and your Cost price is 4,8394.14 which is the notional profit that is getting blocked. Along with that you will also see that 8,56,000 rupees worth of goods are blocking your working capital capability. Again you can explore other buttons on the right side button bar for variation of information. I hope this report gives you a clear understanding of your inventory holding pattern and also it will highlight on your fast moving, slow moving and non moving items and very important is that the number of days that you are holding your stock 
we know that it is going to block the working capital. So this report will highlight and help you to quickly dispose of the stock and convert into a working capital. Thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.